Hello and welcome back to Professional Trading. So, um, real quick, this is a very amazing, simple indicator on how to um, trade spikes or scalp the market, basically. Um, I don't really see spikes, where you can trade it for spike, but mainly for scalping the market, basically, on the boom and crash. So, um, I usually do my videos only on the boom 1000 these days, but this on this one, I'm going to be uh, making an exception. I'll be also talking about the crash and then giving some a few analysis on the crash market also. So just stick around and let's enjoy this. So real quick, as you can see on here, we're on the one minute time frame in the boom 1000 market and um, we're having like two indicators basically, but um, not to be scared, these are very, very simple indicators. Now, as you can guess already, for those that have been following my channel, I don't need to really do a lot of explanation before you get um, what an indicator is all about. So as you can see on here, uh, let's just start with what the market is doing right now. So the market gives a little spike here. This I wouldn't really call this a spike though, it's funny enough. But this um, little stuff here was um, just came up and you can see that it's not really significant because it didn't make a dent in the market. But the thing is what we're looking for is something that actually makes dent and actual movement of the market. First things first, let's observe our 90 and 10 levels on these um, moving averages, on this related strength index on, the, on, the, on our screen right now. So as you can see on here right now, on the 90 level at the top part, you can see the red line just touching it or above it right now. Now this one is touching it and it's clear that it's above it, while this one is not really touching it yet. But on this one that's touching it here, you can see here that um, right after right um, after his spike, now just try to stick with me on this, right after his spike here, you can see here that was when it climbed up to that top. And you can look down here again that it also climbed up to the 90 level. Now the upper Bollinger Band, because this is a Bollinger Band down here. So immediately it climbed up there, you can see it touched the 90 level. Now once it touched that 90 level, you can fully confidently go in for a sell. Now paraventure you go in for a sell at this level and the spike occurs again. Now you can see that I give a few number of candle space before climbing that 90 level. So paraventure you go in and the spike occurs again. I can confidently tell you to stay in the market that you will regain your money definitely back. This is the one minute time frame. So it's not the four hour time frame that it obviously can change. But this is on one minute time frame, you can obviously get your money back. So once that happens, you stay in the market, you allow it to sell back again. And now you can see there that um, after I sell, it gave a few amount of sell. Now it will be less for you to decide when to leave the market, but I advise you to take for five to 10 minutes. So five to 10, um, one minute can actually sums up to 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes, obviously. So once that happened, um, you take profit. You can see another spike happened here. Now you can decide to risk it and go in for the market or trade your plan and ignore that because if you're going to ignore that, you're going to actually wait for the market to take another downtrend for a long period of time, like which is doing right now. Or just, you know, meet up your signals. Now you can see something like this happened here again at this point. Now this is on the spike level. Now you can see here there was a spike here but it's not safe to go in. It sold totally and then an actual spike that gave us a three-fold kind of spike on the one minute time frame happened. So I don't know if you guys can take, can really observant of this right now. You can see that the three-fold spike happened and why that spike happened. First one, second one, you're out of the market. Now you can obviously decide to add a 50 level to this indicator just so you get your take profit. But I advise you, once on the spike level, once you get one or two spikes, you're out of the market. Just don't, this is not completely a spike strategy. It's more like a scalping strategy. So you're not in for the long ride. All right. So you can see here again on the spike level it happened here. But this one showing here is not an actual signal to go into the market. Take note. You can see that it did not meet our parameters on all levels. It met it on the first level. The second level was lagging. And then the third level um, which is our main chart, it did play out, but it did not mean the parameter. We are here to run the parameter and not just gamble. So you can see here that if you were in the market, it actually would have looked like this. We were trading this market life. So you wouldn't have been bothered to go in, even though it um, later came on to, you know, trade itself. Now you can see here, there were, there were other strong markets that had strong sales here. So you can see here, if you were in this market, you might probably um, have gotten one of these, you can see you have gotten one of these and traded it softly and easily. Now the current market is a downtrend, which is um, unpredictable. We don't ever can tell. Is it like I said, the one minute and five minutes can downtrend are very, very, very busy markets. So 
you can't say what's gonna happen right now like you can see here right now but let's dive into the crash 1000 and see if this analysis works out best for us okay i think we're on a positive part on this crash 1000 you can see it's played out like it met all parameters perfectly and it's selling out so if i have to zoom in and you're going for 10 candles i don't need to start doing a count for you but if you have to go in at this point you can get your counts already at 10 at this point so yeah that's basically it and you can see here that um the sell was happened here so you would have traded for a quick crash on the market and be in profit so you can see you can bounce between these two markets while still um staying in profit while uh, the boom 1000 is doing what it's doing you're already in the crash 1000 making money once you're out of here you're back in the boom 1000 doing what you do best and just the continuous process so just find what works for you and repeat it that's how money is being made so now let me show you the parameters to these indicators first off we're going to set up our first related strength index desk on indicator window one now the RSI for the um, indicator window one once you click it has its parameters now take note this is the same parameter used for the second indicator window two now um period set to one apply to close style two pixels and then our levels 90 and 10. like i said you can also add 50 just to find um a take profit but it's not necessary now after that we're going for the moving average in that indicator window one now in the moving average there you can see that our period is set to 10 shift zero method linear weights close style three pixels and yeah that's basically it and then you have this first setup with that you have this first setup but now what about the second setup let me show you that real quick we have a relative strength um index two on our indicator window two now like i said same parameters as the first one you have that and then you're going for the bollinger band now take note of the bollinger band that at the uh, other than the main parameters which are the period deviation shift and then the color and pixel which which will um will be a choice of yours after he said that take note of our levels i don't know you may have taken a screenshot of this by now um negative 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 .4, all in negative and you have that on a bollinger band and after you're done with that um you click done then you will have the second um index here that's what we're going to be having and yeah that's basically it so once you have these three parameter sets following what i just told you being profit all year round or throughout the month obviously leave a comment below on how this has worked out for you or if you have any questions like and then most importantly don't forget to subscribe help me out here brothers so that i can make more content for you bye for now and see you on the next one